गाइज वेलकम टू द चैनल सो आफ्टर डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू डी सी वी हैव आर हैंड्स ऑन आई एस ट्वेल्व एंड द बीटा वर्जन इज द वन दैट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट नाउ द वन दैट यू सी हियर इज द आई फोन टेन दैट वी गोना इंस्टॉल आई एस ट्वेल्व बीटा ऑन सो दिस बेसिकली इज गोइंग टू बी अ इंस्टॉल एंड प्रिव्यू वीडियो जस्ट लाइक मैनी अदर ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर चैनल सो वी आर क्विकली गोइंग टू सी अ स्टेप बाई स्टेप प्रोसेस ऑफ हाउ टू इंस्टॉल आई एस ट्वेल्व बीटा ऑन योर एपल डिवाइस इफ इट इज वन ऑफ द डिवाइस विच विल रिसीव दिस अपडेट बेसिकली एनीथिंग आफ्टर आई फोन फाइव एस and the iPhone 5s itself should be eligible to get iOS 12 now the reason why this particular update is so so important for older devices is because it dramatically improves performance at least that is what apple claims and there are a lot of new features that have been added as well now we will talk about those maybe in a different video altogether all right so before we install this particular beta update let me inform you that if you decide to roll back to iOS 11.4 which is the stable version you will definitely lose all your data because the data of iOS 12 will not be compatible with the previous version so make sure you back up everything before you begin this process and you'll probably need at least more than 50% battery on your iPhone and you will need a decent internet connection because this will be a sizable update now without further ado if you haven't already please subscribe hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a brand new video and if motorbikes are your thing and you like travel videos here's a card to the second channel go ahead and check that channel out as well now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials my name is kalash let's begin <laughs> All right so we have our iPhone 10 and we are going to go to iOS 12 now in the description of this particular video you will find a link which you need to open on your phone using Safari now in order to get iOS 12 officially you need to have a developer account which of course will cost you $99 which should work for iPhones and iPads as well now remember this is a unofficial method and it may or may not be harmful to your device do this at your own risk till it for me it has been completely fine whenever i have installed betas using the unofficial ways and stuff like that and it's just a coincidence that we got a notification that ios 12 lets you do a lot of things while we're shooting this video so what we're going to do is just go to the description open that link on your phone like i'm going to do right now so this is the link i have uploaded it to my google drive So if you tap this it should open up in Safari. Now this is a file that you need to download so just tap download. All right and then you need to tap allow. So this is the notification that you will get. Now I'm pretty sure you can read what is mentioned on the screen. So it says iOS 12 beta software profile so we're going to go ahead and quickly tap install. and then it will ask you for your passcode which of course you need to enter all right then it will give you a bunch of beta pre release software information so just go ahead and click install and install again after which it will ask you to restart the phone so let's go ahead and do that all right so looks like we are back to the home screen the reboot has done the profile is installed now what we need to do is go to settings go to general go to software update bam there you go so just because we installed the profile we have iOS 12 developer beta available so considering that you've you know understood the warning and the risk and downloaded or backed up all the information and stuff and you're ready to go let's hit download and install now once again it'll ask you for your passcode so just hit 00000 that's my passcode of course you need to enter yours and this is a file which is around 2.6 gigabytes so i really hope you are on a good internet connection so once the download is complete it will take some time for the update to be decrypted and then it will ask you to reboot so that you can go ahead and apply the update all right so as you can see the update is now decrypted and it is verifying the update so this is the last step before the phone will automatically reboot and uh, i would highly recommend you have at least 50% battery while you do this it is completely safe to do it when at least there is sufficient amount of battery there you go so the phone has basically powered off and now it will install iOS 12 and then it should be back up again now once we boot to iOS 12 i will show you a couple of new features and uh, 
I will first observe if I can feel that this phone is faster compared to iOS 11 or not. Now, to tell you the truth, I have already been using this device for a few days and I feel that this is a very, very fast phone from what I have understood. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to go ahead and notice the difference or not, but let's see what happens once this particular phone boots up to iOS 12. All right, so we are back and software update, swipe up to finish installing the update is what it says or something like that. Let me just light up the screen for you guys. Yeah, so it says swipe up to finish setting up iOS 12. So welcome to iOS 12, shop at 11 o'clock. Just a coincidence. All right, so let's go ahead and unlock the phone now. There you go, it says update completed. Your iPhone was updated successfully. There are just a few more steps to follow and then you finished. So let's click continue here and it's setting it up. So this is most probably, you know, the second half of the video wherein we will talk about the software and it says, welcome to iPhone and there we go. We are at the home screen now, right off the bat, you see that, so there is something called as Measure, which is an AR based measuring app. Now let's quickly go to settings and have a look at any differences that we can find. Now from the smoothness of it, now, as I said, this is a top tier flagship level phone and it performs really, really flawless. I can see that the icons are a little different compared to iOS 11. All right, so one more feature that I noticed here is if you go to the multitasking view, earlier what you had to do to close apps was press and hold it. Now if you do that, it just opens the app. So you just swipe up and it goes away, which is a step closer to faster performance and faster you know animations and stuff now one thing that i'm noticing here right off the bat is the phone feels much more snappy is because the animations are faster and apps are opening up slightly faster as well now quickly let's have a look at memoji here so if we go to a new message okay. all right so if you click this plus icon next to animoji you get something which says memoji make your own animoji make it look like you or get creative now this is not like samsung wherein it will just take a picture of you and it will depict what your face actually looks like it actually allows you to create a version of yourself and no i'm not that dark okay and then we can choose a hairstyle so there's a ton of things that you can do so let's quickly get done with it there you go yeah so those are the few features that are new with ios 12 and what you guys saw today is the quick install process of installing ios 12 beta on your ipad and iphone and let me know in the comment section if there is a major major feature of ios 12 that i missed out there is a full review of ios 12 that is going to come up Till then, stay subscribed and stay tuned for more awesome content and smartphone tutorials. This is Kailash signing off. Goodbye. Take care.